How am I going to know when we're live? Oh, hey. Uh, welcome, everybody, to another Left 4 Dead 2 shoutcast. I am Prodigy Sin, and I'm here with Mason tonight. How are you doing tonight, Mason? I'm doing pretty good, Prodigy. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, and we kind of switched things up here tonight. Um, having Jeff actually start the cast on time... Uh, I know it's kind of weird, but um, yeah, we decided we'd talk about some things before the game starts, even though teams are just barely uh, setting up in lobbies and whatnot. So, um, to talk about, to start things off, this is going to be the quarterfinals, the very last quarterfinals match of the Everything FPS tournament. It's team Hard to Kill against the Boomers. And um, yeah, it should be a pretty exciting match. Uh, what are you thinking about it so far, Mason? Um, I I don't know. The hard to kill really impressed me last match with their coming from behind win against uh, CJ's team. Which oh yeah. I think a lot of people on map three were or, or map two, I guess, because they only played one two three. Were thinking, well, GG, like they're behind, and then uh, yeah, they CJ's really came out. In. Yeah, they came they out with a like pretty a good really... bonus, and then the notorious breaker tank where. Uh, or Breaker Jukes, I guess, where he was able to strafe around that pole and kind of skunk uh, the tank from Vox Populi, and they ended up making it with a pretty good bonus, which actually won them, the, won them the game. That was... Yeah, that was pretty insane. That was probably one of the most incredible matches that we've had cast so far, especially in this tournament. The only other uh, game that sort of equals that was... Oh gosh, which, which one was it? Sinister and Four Axis was very incredible as well. Um, a lot of wipes on that one. A kind of a different sort of a game, but yeah, very interesting matches. And so the winner of this game is actually going to play against Sinister in the next round. Yeah, I kind of feel like um, recently H2K has been playing. They've been playing pretty well. Uh, obviously, the addition of Breaker seems to be working out. Um, as far as Boomers, I haven't really seen them scrimming much. Uh, they have, remember, they did get third in the SIVA Left 4 Dead 2 Summer Tournament, but they've kind of switched up their roster since then, and I'm not sure how well it's been setting. Yeah, it's um, hard to say. I've, I've heard the same thing. They haven't really been scrimming much, but, uh, I mean, they they were pretty strong in the last tournament, so, uh, yeah, yeah we'll just have to wait and see. I don't know, they've always kind of been a team that... Uh, kind of seem to surprise people that, that maybe people maybe people took it too easy on them, or maybe they've just always been better than we've given them credit for. But that's um, certainly true. I, I'd agree with you there. I mean, they they were doing a lot of surprising in that Sevo tournament, taking out teams left and right that you you wouldn't normally think would go down so easily. Like ZSN, they took out really well, and they took out ZSN, which took out Equitas twice. So that's that's not. Um, yeah, that's true. That that was a strong team too, Aquitas, mm -hmm. Aqu Aquitas. We just called them Equifax. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, they're pretty much gone now. Uh, I don't think they were in EFPS at all. No, they all went into different teams. Yep. Let's see. I saw the in lobby here. They are loading into. No, wait. I'm seeing Eclipse in a pub game. That can't be right. Hey, everybody warms up a different way. Yeah. But uh, I thought I just saw him in a lobby, so I'm a little confused, but maybe not. Alright, well, we'll have to wait and see. Um, you guys just took out Team 2.0 and what was kind of a landslide victory. Uh, for those that don't know, Mason's from Team Royalty, who we saw play just the other night. So uh, how are you feeling about that win? Um, pretty good. I don't know. We've we never really scrimmed hard rain much. Uh, I mean, we scrimmed it a handful of times because other teams were scrimming it, but uh, we weren't. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I mean, map two, map two was crazy how it worked out. But as far as the other maps, we I, we were just kind of on our game, with the exception of map three. Map three was one of those weird tank spawns where. Uh, the room, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with this room, but after the drop on Map 3, after the field, there's a room that normally has pills and ammo in it, 
And we call it death room because every single time we go in, uh, <laughs> we get absolutely destroyed. But we took an attack right before that out in the middle of the field. And so I was, and Palmy was saying he had like 130 shots or something in his clip for his Uzi. So I was like, okay guys, let's stop by a death room. And naturally I wouldn't call to do that. And then Tank spawns on the other side of the fence where he can literally just oh, climb wow. up the wall and be on our heads in three seconds. So I don't know. It, it's just one of those uh, yeah. instances where you just kind of shake your head and say, well, that's competitive Left 4 Dead too. Um, but still, you came out with a very strong win, and you're going to play against yeah. uh, Polarity, also known as the team during this tournament. Um, what are you thinking about that match? Um, they're a good team. They they've all been around the game for a while. Um, th- like the core of that, I, I guess the core of the team is Dawkins and Fever, and they've been playing together for a long time. Kind of longer, like as long as. I stopped playing for a while, and as long as SMH stopped playing, and they, I mean, they were good at GXL, they were good in the SEVO Summer Tournament. Um, but, so, you're still thinking you could beat them, though? Uh, well, the only time we played them, they had a ringer, and we won, but it's always weird having some random person. Yeah, uh, I think too. they had a ringer on HR or something, which is weird, because every team has their different dynamics of who's supposed to do what, so I don't really know if that means anything. Um, but I don't know, we, we've, we've been scrimming Parish more than any other map, and I think we're finally starting to get it down. We have a few problem areas which we're working on, but, uh, uh-huh. Parish is different, um, from other maps, because I feel like it's really, it's a very, very, very choke point oriented map. Like, attacks seem to either, like, get completely shut down, or they're, like, huge, huge damage attacks. Oh, yeah, that's certainly true. There's so many open areas, and then you get into these really tight choke points. Like, map 3 is so open, but there's still great choke points in all of it. Yeah. Well, and of course, like, stuff that's frustrating. Like, on map 3, like, you have to, like, you have to basically wipe them before the ambulance at the top of the ladder, or else you can't wipe them. (laughs) Or it's very, very hard to because of how, like, high the pill density is after that. That's so true. Um, how there's the stock ladder hit before the car uh, yard that everybody does now, which is um, really, really hard. Harder so than the Dark Carnival 2 la- uh, ladder. Uh, it's really, really hard to attack to shut down. Yeah, um, the Dark Carnival 2 ladder is actually not too much anymore. I think most teams have learned to work around it, but yeah. Well, I mean, ZSN just sticks somebody in the corner where everybody can clear him, and a lot of teams have adapted that strategy. And yeah. yeah, you don't really see many, at least, I'd say at least in the upper level games where teams are more organized, you don't really see many devastating attacks at the top of Dark Carnival 2, but yeah. that the same can't be said for Parish 3. That's still, because it's still three easy caps, like you still have people getting to the top of the ladder and they don't have their gun out. So basically, like, you can drag and they really can't do anything unless they get some crazy LOS or they like cut their tongue with a melee weapon. Um. Yeah, it's yeah. certainly true. But either way, so this match on the parish for you guys is going to be probably one of the most exciting matches of the uh, of the tournament. I think. I mean, you guys took out Vox Populi, or no, you didn't. Sorry, that's hard to tell. Why am I getting that <laughs> screwed up? Either way, it should be a really good match. Yeah, and... I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um... Certainly hoping for that. And it looks like Team's still not in a server yet. Maybe Jeff can correct me there, but uh. Okay. Okay, I must have been seeing some other lobby before, like a pub lobby I walked into. Oh, I see Jay is in a server with 6 out of 17. So that might be it, and we may be joining in. Alright. In other news, didn't uh, Bowflex start up another uh, CCF tournament? CCF 2.0? Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot I was totally going to mention that. Um, anybody who has a team right now or is thinking about starting out into competitive play with the team, uh, BRB Blof- Bowflexen has put up his second Confogal Cup for show tournament, and he's been taking signups for that. Right now there's a lot of teams signing up, and he's actually going to close the signups on Wednesday. So if you have four friends, have a team, want to sign up, you should get that in now, get it in before Wednesday. Um, that looks like yeah, it's going to be a really exciting tournament. And unlike the EFPS tournament where it's single elimination, and which probably deterred a fair amount of signups just because nobody wants to be like 
play one match and then be out of it because they lost. Uh, I think this actually starts off with group play. So you get three or four matches to where you can kind of, if you have a one-off match or one map you aren't strong at, you can bounce back with two or three other wins. And then the, I think the top two teams in each group go to a finals bracket. But yeah, I just, I mean... We always need teams for Left 4 Dead 2. Our community is pretty small, so you guys should definitely come out, sign up for that, and it's it's just a lot of fun to see new people and uh, get to play in another tournament. Yeah, well put. Really well put. I, I I don't know if they're doing the league play. I think it's still up in the air, but he's been really leaning towards that, so that would be nice. We'd get a lot of games in with that, and it would probably be a little bit... Uh, it would probably have to be a little bit faster in league play, but... Uh, yeah, definitely mm -hmm. sign up. We'd love to see you guys come in and play, and we'd love to cast your matches if you want us to do that as well. But uh, it looks like teams are getting in here now. We have the Boomas with four in already, and Hard to Kill only has two players in at this point, but I'm sure that's going to be fixed fairly quickly. Sideways Box joining up. Ah, the Box Doctor. I haven't seen him playing with Hard to Kill in a while, I believe... He didn't even play in the the Vox Populi match for them. They had Breaker no. playing instead of him. Hmm, this is interesting. Yeah, I've even been... I actually played a match, a, a scrim or two with uh, Hard to Kill. And they didn't have Sideways Box there either, or Breaker. So, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. I wonder if he's actually been playing with this team for a while or what he's been doing. Well, he's got more time on Left 4 Dead 2 than I remember him having, but I also know that he really likes to pub, so... Because <laughs> I, I could have sworn that when I checked around the Vox Populi match, um, they added Breaker, whoever, like, the day before the match. Because I kept on thinking Sideways was going to play, but he had, like, two hours in the game. But he's up to 18, which means he could have been scrimming daily for the past six or seven days. Or maybe I'm just totally wrong on that, and he has tons of time in Left 4 Dead 2. And... <laughs> Could be possible. Yeah, I remember that was like a really last second ad to get Breaker into that match. I was very surprised. We commented in the cast, we were like, wait, is Breaker even on this team? And yeah, apparently they added him Been playing with them. But uh, we'll have to see who their fourth is here. I think it is Breaker. Breaker's online. He was just playing with them earlier in a scrim, but it was... It was a kind of goofy scrim. They had somebody else from the TF2 section of Hard to Kill playing with them. Uh, was it Alan? The guy's name was Volbeat. Hmm. I wouldn't know who that was, but uh, he was sort of goofing around the whole time. They they got destroyed by it. I mean, it was me playing a pug with uh, you know just some random people, and they got destroyed by a few thousand points. So obviously not a very serious game, and I wouldn't expect that to be representative of the, how they're going to be playing tonight at all. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Raccoon Eclipse loaded in as Nick and Ella. Sideways box on Rochelle. Um, for the Boomers here, it looks like we've got Jay. I'm gonna assume he seems upset is. In. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Intel. Okay, Intel is he seems upset, and then what the fuck must be. Um. What's his name? Cheesy, right? And I see Inferno, yeah, of course, cheesy, playing Intel, as well. I see NJ. Um. Nah, that's very interesting. Bravo is playing instead of Breaker. I think. I mean, if you want to talk about like who's played with the team the most, it's gonna be Bravo and not Breaker. But I don't think I don't. I I just find it interesting. Um. Shoot. Just I mean. I know Breaker yeah, had really. a few moments last match where it wasn't great, but that it counted. Yeah, but that's I, certainly true. Whatever. Yeah, I respect their decision. I hope it works out well for them. Um, no hard feelings in any way, shape, or form. Uh, yeah. Looks like Jay is sitting with a very low 7 ping while Sideways Box has a 900 ping right now. 800. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's going down. Yeah, I think he was alt tabbed. Oh, I see. Eclipse giving out some nice words before the match. Very good to see. Boy, quit pointing that thing my way. Breaker was a ringer, said Sideways Box. Uh, apparently they're not counting him as part of the team. That's interesting. So, I know Jeezy likes to sit back and run HR for... 
boomers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, That's certainly true, yeah, he's usually their HR. I think sometimes he, Intel plays as well, but... Yeah, he's a pretty nasty shot, I will give him that. Um, who else? Who, who, I think Raccoon runs it for H2K? I really don't know, I can't remember. I thought you know, Breaker was running it when we played them, but... I'm having a hard time remembering as well, but uh, I always get Eclipse and Raccoon messed up anyway. I hope they don't hate me for that, but yeah, I want to say it's Raccoon, I think you're right, unless they do something crazy like give it to Sideways Box. That would be something crazy. Uh, I've, we've been told by Jeff that Bravo is in the mumble with them, but it's not yet in the game here. We've got some SI doing some scuba diving. <laughs> Looks like Jay taking his smoker underwater. What is going on? Is Sideways yeah, Box watching this cast or something? Them, but I don't, I don't really don't remember. Breaker was playing, that's why. Alrighty then. Um, I think we will maybe be doing some shoutouts during this cast, assuming we have time between some of the action. So, if you want to add either of us and send us shoutouts, we'll try to find some time to send those. Yep, Sideways Box is definitely watching the cast right now. I hope we've got a delay on this video. Uh, <laughs> commenting that uh, we think giving Sideways Box the HR is crazy. Oh. Just just give him a shotgun. He's amazing with the shotgun. I don't think anybody can deny that. I don't I don't know many players in Left 4 Dead 2. I would trust more to take out the Hunter and the attack with the shotgun than uh, Mr. Box. He's put his time in in both games, and he... uh. He is a skeet machine. He did win both tournaments at the GXL. Yeah, not many people can say that. <laughs> uh, just in case we forget to mention it, the 4SI that uh, Boomers has up are a Smoker, Boomer, Hunter, and Charger. So we'll see if they set it for a Death Charge, uh, or if they just go for damage. I do hmm. love uh, to I think, see a death charge here. I mean, I think teams can get it if they yeah. if they go for it and have a good setup. Well, I think the, I think the way it's got to work at this level because you're not just gonna get like they're not just gonna let a smoker spawn and pull somebody long enough to get a death charge. I think what you're gonna have to do is use the boomer if they go lower, which I don't know why they would go lower. You're gonna have to use a boomer and hunter to block up that entry door. If they go upper, you've <laughs> You really gotta hit like the boom right behind that, I guess, vent on top of the roof. The boom has to be early, so that the hunt the smoker has time to pull and that the charger doesn't get ripped on his way in. That's true, and I mean, as long as there's a survivor still in the safe room, you can't spawn back there, so it makes it hard to get the pull to the back. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whenever yeah, but... I've gotten them here, it's been pretty much like spawn the charger close on that vent and and go for somebody on the ladder. But uh, you know, it yeah. works. The, well, the way we would do it when we would play this map, uh, we would everybody would find a uh, everybody would find a spawn, and we just say, okay, the second you can spawn, spawn, and we're going in, and that's just how we do it. Because the the last thing you want on on infected side is four survivors backed up who know that all the spawns are coming from one direction. Like yeah. that's. If you That's think of a, a, a tax as like a compass, you want north, south, east, west. You want people looking different ways. You don't want everybody tunneling the boomer or the charger, because then you get chargers that don't land and boomers that get popped. And well, it's just bad news bears for the infected. Absolutely true. It looks like the teams are both having a little bit of ping issues right here. Sideways box coming down finally. Uh, cheesy with a little bit of a high ping as well. And it looks like they're unreadying for him. But uh, all players are in now. We have Bravo in as Rochelle under the tag Man Slut. Some very creative uh, aliases for these teams here. Yep. Um, and I side was his ping is going to come down because he was watching that uh, stream. Yeah, he was he was watching the stream. Trying to be a little a little cheeky there. Yeah. Hold on, I'm getting reports that we have a black screen on the stream. Jeff. Are things going okay? 
Yell at me if you can see can see things on the stream because um Yeah, it's fine for people. So whoever just told me that the stream is screwed up, it's your own just, fault. Just yeah, yeah just you refresh feel your browser and you'll be fine, dude. Alright, so it sounds like it's good. Uh thank you everyone for telling us. Uh I guess everybody's very happy with this stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely, when I saw the VOD from our last match, the, the own TV stream uh, is a lot clearer. And it would start every once in a while, but definitely better than the uh, the Twitch TV or the Justin TV that he had been using before. Alright, I've actually got a couple shoutouts already from people. Um, I've got a shoutout from Scorpio Girl to Breaker. Just a uh, colon D happy face shoutout. And a shout out from Hib to Sideways for fapping before the game. Good job. Probably talking about his high ping. <laughs> wow, I've got both people saying black screen and not, uh, you know, if you're having issues, maybe try switching browsers or restarting your browser or something like that. Upgrade your flash, go to the latest version. I don't know. I don't know what to say for sure. But hopefully you guys can figure that out and uh, start watching the cast. I know it doesn't like being alt-tabbed back and into. Uh, like if you're playing a full-screen game and you're alt-tabbing over to Mozilla, it doesn't work very well. And sometimes it's, it would time out in my in-game browser. Just it would randomly stop working and it would crash it. You think you're shooting? Uh, Jeffy just put a link there. Um, for people to try instead of going from the main page, I'll go ahead and put that on the scrim network or something. It's funny, the person who said, so now I'm lagging, actually has a lower ping in the sideways box. <laughs> yeah. And then sideways box starts watching the cast, so he has a higher ping. <laughs> <laughs> he would. He would. He was definitely a pretty fun guy to be around at the GXL. Yeah, he's a riot. Always good nature and always fun to talk to. <laughs> Shout out from Jeff to uh, that match starting on time. Uh, the cast started on time. Can't say the same about the match. Of course, now we are about 20 minutes late. I forget who it was, and specifically what game it was, but I, somebody was mentioning to me that there's, um, it's not, it's not like Wheel of Fortune, but it's actually just like guessing words. Right, Hangman, somebody said that <laughs> in warm-up on their TF2 server, if any of you are familiar with playing TF2 in a pub setting, um, you have a minute of warm-up time before the round starts, and they said in warm-up, and we're about to go live, and I'll finish this later. Ooh, alright, and we're not about to go live. Oh wait, no we are, it just said he unru unreadied though. Alright, so Survivor's moving out on the right, SI not triggering the hit yet. Looks like the Boomer's repositioning to get on top of him behind. Um, Survivor's blocking a lot of spawns here pretty well. Looks like that Boomer and Smoker aren't quite going to get their spawns. We do have a Hunter up on the other side, controlled by IC Inferno. And it looks like still waiting to get that hit. Not quite sure what's going on here. I remember when teams would do this, they'd send in one survivor at a time to go pick up their pills and their main weapon. Yeah, usually you see teams hit earlier, so that's not really an option. I think what but, happened was the, bloomer got, the boomer got his spawn immediately blocked. Yeah, and that wasn't good. And with this late of a hit, oh, and it is coming in here. Smoker missing that pull. Charger getting taken out, not landing. Smoker getting six damage right there. And actually getting a... Not too bad, and a good amount of horde. Stop raccoon right there. Um, with only well, they did have a three-one setup, so it's not a huge amount of damage, but they're getting the delay off, and it looks like they'll still be able to hit on the next choke point. Mm -hmm. Um, again, the pounce landed on Nick for a little bit of chip, but nothing major. Looks like they're going in for another hit. Oh, tank is up right now. Looks like they're throwing on some spawns. Wow, that car just took out that spitter. Pretty incredible. Oh, Boom here getting popped, not really getting anything. Why don't we go ahead and take this to a Booma's war room to hear how they play this tank? I'm like lagging. Like I'm frame lagging. 
Oh, that's cool, dude. Oh, now Jeff's in War Room. After <laughs> I screamed and got hit by a car. Just like I see. <laughs> Reenacted perfectly. <laughs> Sky cars and caps and killed Icy Inferno. I think we're good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Ah, oh, I fell out oh, the shit. roof somehow. Oh, hey, shut up, over. he's watching the stream, he's gonna know. Bone tells us it's gonna like sack the tank. Really long delay though. Pushing it up. Oh, from where? Oh god, uh -oh. wow. Uh -oh. Ah. There we go. Why? Nobody knows. Yes, I am. Oh my fuck, I thought I smoked Nick. Mind it. That's right. Oh, nice. Right, him up there. Oh, Get him! Nice, yes. Yes. I think he still has to reload. Yeah, we got the end cap. I might get the kill. No, nice, he's coming. Cleared. Oh! Oh shit! He got up? You have 3 KO. You can do it with him. He's getting him up. Just you can boom the end cap guy, he might die. Yep. Go by baby the ladders. Well, oh, they're all fucking. They're all trying to kill him. Team, I need. Uh, okay. uh, I'm dead. Ah, shit. Huh? Ah! Try to save me. Welcome back, everyone, and that was the Boomer's tank. The tank did a lot of work in that first half there and then just kind of fizzled out. And we have our shell pulled in the background. Now, Charger's covering. Charger lands. Oh, wow, that two cap HR right is clear, there. though. This is a ton of damage. Um, tank got in, the caps landed, he cleared the HR off the roof so that he couldn't uh, pick either of the SI on the roof, which is great. Remember, as tank, you always want to establish height advantage as early as possible. Um, he had some good rocks on coach, uh, the caps did a ton of damage, their health bonus is way down. Uh, just, it seems like when he was about half health and they had two survivors up, he dropped down and kind of started mulling about. Attack's coming in right now, we have a jockey and charger on the roof. Going in, looks like Charger, Charger lands on Ellis. On Smoker's pulling back. Oh, that's a separation pull. That's going to be an in cap in the back. Wow, I'm not actually seeing I'm that wreck. spit though. I'm wondering if it disappeared or if it's just not rendering for me. Oh, that's interesting. It may be because you're too far away. But Might be. While we're paused here, I'm going to finish going over that tank. Um, tank was about 3,000 HP and had two survivors up, which is, in, in my book, that's more than enough. But he. He stayed on the ground and let them rev the survivor on top, so then it had three survivors up, all of who were capable of being fast with pills, and he didn't have any SI. Absolutely. So if I were him, I would have, um, after I incapped Nick in the kitchen, I would have gotten back on the roof and made sure that nobody got Rochelle up until my spawns came up, because if survivors have to push onto the roof, that means they have to take a ladder, and to take a ladder, you're going to be vulnerable for a second. You aren't going to have your gun out, so that means the tank either has a free rock on you or can block it, so... Yeah, like you said, hide advantage right there. I was kind of surprised the tank gave that up. He could have just taken that roof and uh, covered Rochelle for a little bit, not died, and, you know, kept the survivors from killing him off. But he stayed on the floor, let him get those survivors up. But, uh, you know, I, we still have to give him credit. They did do a huge amount of damage with that tank, and they just did a bunch of damage here as well. And we're about to unpause in the middle of this attack to see what happens. All right, yeah, we are Coach live. Is in the back, but if he gets, yeah, he's down. And hard to kill, looking kind of easy to kill right now. <laughs> Absolutely true. They uh, only got one in cap off of that, but they only have a little sliver of permanent health left on Eclipse. Health bonus already down at 72, so it's not going to be a high-scoring map for them either no, way. I see two needles in the truck. Um. Don't yeah, really we'll much just other have to see. They're coming up to a choke right now. Uh, the, yeah. Reloading. Yeah, if they can get some more health items, they can definitely make it through the map. So, I think Boomas need to wipe them soon if they're going to be doing a wipe here. Uh, no mm -hmm. one's black and white yet. Hunter spawning up, going in. Oh, getting dead stop, not landing that path. Landing Rack charge, getting charged. Getting clear. Wow, very nice clear in the middle of it. Yep. But they are very low on health, even with the two needles. Um... It's gonna be close. Now, one thing I will say right now, we have a second. Um, when you're playing people that are bleeding, uh, the most important part of the attack 
that needs to land is the boom. Because if you can think of a boom, it's kind of like a 10 second timer. It just makes the survivors do something for 10 seconds. And when everybody's on 10 health and bleeding out, um, the last thing you want them doing is moving forward. So I would have said put more priority on making sure the boom lands in that attack rather than going for damage. Did they have a boom on that hit? I thought they did. Did I? I thought it was boomer. Oh, it must have been a 2 2. Spitter Hunter Charger. I okay. That was, okay. Yeah, that was the last one I wasn't sure on. And it looks also, like Hard to Kill has taken this next choke point, though. Yeah, Boomers just wasn't set up. I don't know what's going on at Mumble, but it's going to be this one last ditch attack, and it's going to be really hard to wipe him with this. Certainly. Well, uh, we'll have to see. Looks like this Boom. I uh, know, getting mm. pop. Um, just three cappers left. Probably going to be very last second here. And it looks like they're choosing to go in now. Getting that pull on Sniper. Pull on HR. Interception charge. Ooh, trying to get that Ooh. cap on Eclipse. So close, but he doesn't quite go down. Of course, he'll have a little bit less health bonus here. Yeah, but that's, uh... Still not a fan of... I, I don't know. Just sometimes when you do so much damage with the tank at the beginning of the map, and then you do a bunch of damage with the next attack, you kind of think you've already got it, and you kind of start to loosening up your timing on the attacks, and H2K definitely not going down without a fight, clutching it and making it the save from getting a bunch of distance points that... Uh, maybe they shouldn't have, but yeah, we're going to get to true. see how uh, they play this tank on Infected side now. Looks oh. like we're having Intel restart his game real quick during the second ready up. And yeah, you know, I really would have wished they could have wiped with that with that tank that they played, but they didn't. And the survivors got, you know, a whole bunch more. Distance, point, distance points, if not health bonus points. So we'll just have to see. Maybe Boomers can do better on their survivor against that tank and really make a comeback. Or not really come back. Really take a lead. Yep. And again, we are... The first attack is Charger, Smoker, Boomer, Hunter. What are they doing? Mm. And it looks like everything's on the roof but the what? Boomer. What are they doing? Interesting setup. Setting up the Boom for if they go to the right, right there. Um, this seems to be a pretty sort of standard setup that people go for. Um, yeah. You can quickly get spawns depending on any direction they go. The boom would just take a little bit longer to reposition. But I'll, it'll be interesting to see uh, if the boomers run up for that corner of the roof just like H2K did to try and block both the roof spawns and the spawn behind the porta potty. Definitely, yeah, you can do some good spawn blocking if you do it right here, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, let's see who we're waiting for in this ready-up. It looks like just waiting on Intel right there, so. And he is ready. So this yeah, match is going underway. Event, Hunter on the roof behind the boomer, and the smoker and the charger on the burger tank roof. Looks like they've all got some pretty solid spawns um, for uh, just about any time they want to do this hit. Survivors have not yet left the safe room. And now they're going off to the right, all staying on top right here. Very interesting. Hmm. SI not spawning I, yet, choosing yeah, to reposition. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like letting them get it set up. Yeah, they, it would have been nice if they just... But the boom, of course, wouldn't have had that spawn. Boom, they do get on to Nick right there, SI slowly moving in. Hunter, dead stopped right there. Ooh, Charger, Charger just lands, land, though. and a pull landing One for a little bit. Show. Wow, two pounds. Just two pounds onto that, and a pull landing as well, getting a great amount of damage right here. Uh, 66 damage in total. But the survivors are looking pretty mobile. They should be able to move through and get to the next choke point pretty quick. Of course, the tank will spawn when they get right here. Tank is up into the hands of Eclipse. Why don't we take it to their war room? What I think you should do is come in from... Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I, I want you to. I'm gonna pounce around and not die. Oh, I'm gonna what die. You? Let's go right wow. now.
Nice he charge. might be able to car this guy. Or I've got friends, okay. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get the kill. Oh, one more! You can get that die. one more. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh my god! god. And we're and back. back. Uh, Charge landing away? on Intel for uh, not too much damage, but the tank was able to car him. Other than that, nothing really landing. Cheesy had a nice skeet on the hunter. Um, Smoker didn't really do much, and Tank kind of had difficulty uh, punching Jay. Uh, so right now, survivors are sitting pretty. They have three greens, uh, lots of pills, and a choke point coming up. Yeah, that was a really nice job. Jay did get some good jukes on that tank, and they took the next choke point. Boom coming in here. Actually, a quad bad. boom. Inside that house. Not very good cappers for this, though. Getting the spit in. Landing oh, wow. a little bit of a pull. And that pounce, actually. I'm not really sure if any spit damage is going in on that. But a lot of damage yeah, went in Nick, on to Nick anyway. Nick was destroyed. So, looks like a good amount of health bonus chip going off on this hit. Boom is still overall doing pretty well, though. And let's see how far they can run before that next hit gets up. I think if they push it, they have the choke. If they really push it, the SIR aren't going to be set up, but it's not looking like it. They yeah, have a lot of common trailing them. Yeah, they've got hit by a couple commons there, slowing them down. Yeah. So, so hit props is up. to whoever that boomer was. That was a very nice bar fag that really helped his team out. We have a 3-1 setup here. No smoker, no spitter. So this actually looks like a pretty good setup, in my opinion, for this, hit, for this choke point. Um, maybe a smoker would be a little bit... Uh, better in this area. Oh wow! Actually, Boom is taking this over the fence right here. Wow! I I, I have to admit I have not seen this before. Very interesting setup, and it looks like all the survivors on the fence or wow. over the fence. Wow! This actually makes it a very clean choke point to take out. Not a lot of spawns. Everything tunneling. Jockey and Hunter both skeeted right there. Charger going in. Actually, gonna Charger. get a punch. They have the Boomer safe room if they bolt. He should take his needle and they should get to the safe room right now. I, I wouldn't even stop for the pills in the house. I just don't want to give them another attack with how much health they have. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge lead right now already. Well, not super huge. 392 health bonus, though. That's still 300 points up from hard to kill. Uh, spawns are coming up right now, but I think if they just go straight to the door, they'll be fine. Choosing to block some spawns as they Jeez, move, though, and the hit goes in. Getting oh, that pull oh, onto health oh, no. bonus. Wow, wow, try cap actually for a little bit. Jay gonna take a lot of spit damage there. In cap. Mm, what a great I, hit by hard to kill at the last second. I feel like they had it and they gave it to him. They didn't need to set up, they just needed to get in. Although now there are pills they could run back and get, and they did it. They're hmm. still up though, a 288 point health bonus. I believe actually 292 it gave them. So they're still up by 220 points. Uh, it would have been nice to have that extra 100 points in there, but still a very good round from Boomas. Mostly attributed to, you know, just their tank handling, both on Infected and Survivor, I'd say. Yeah. I gotta say, some some impressive uh, sniper work from Cheesy. Clearing, really giving his team a chance to deal with common in the rest of the attack. He had a lot of early picks and a lot of early damage on SI that really helped, especially on that last try cap. Oh, yeah, Really definitely. helped his team uh, deal with that. Um, but yeah, a 292 point lead, uh, or 220, it's 220 points. Yeah. That, that's, I don't know, on Hard Rain, Hard Rain's one of those maps where it's, it seems like, a lot of times maps 3 is a wash because of how hard tank is to deal with in the slow water. Um, and then map 4 is kind of an all or nothing deal. It's either, you get, you, ch you bite that hittable, you get knocked off the roof or something, or the tank misses everything and, uh, yeah, and you get home scot free because of how short of a map map for is. Yeah, a 200 point lead on after first map of Hard Rain just doesn't feel the same as like a 200 point lead after the the first map of let's say Dark Carnival or something yeah. like that. So it looks like we have a three one set up here as well. Smoker, Jockey, Charger, Spitter. Which can always mean, actually, you know, I think Hard to Kill is going to go for this setup that we've seen a couple teams do. The Charger um, in the Tree. Charger in the Trees and these mm -hmm. bushes over here. And if they can land a Charge Spit, you know, that's that's the hit right there. They can get a good amount of damage off of that. These other two SI are not going to be as great with the Spit unless you can get some separation. 
But uh, overall, it looks like it's going to be their best bet to go for an early hit here. What do you think? Uh, yeah, like, as I say, like, Spitter is your friend when you don't have a lot, like, when you have tight chokes, when survivors don't really have room to spread out, and then Boomer is the opposite. Like, you want to get a boom when that boom helps cover all your spawns coming in from far away. But when you have tight quarters like this, like, it's better to just have a spit so that you can either seal off area or add damage onto some SI that's already landed. Um, something we like to do here a lot is we'll try to pull out, and as they tunnel the smoker, we'll send the charger in, or we'll send the jockey in to scratch. Oh, um, they're coming in right now, charger coming out of the tree. Oh, wow, actually and baited right there. Charger not able to make it in that window in one jump, so he's choosing to wait. Uh, smoker still hasn't spawned, so they've got a little bit of a trick up their sleeve, I suppose. And survivors are just going to take their time and bait this out as hard as they can, it looks like. Cheesy moving up for some picks. Doesn't look like he got anything, though. If he just shoots straight through that wall, he'll get that charger. Oh, wow! Actually getting about 50 points of damage on the charger. Not really significant. But uh, things are just moving up kind of slow. Looks like the smoker might be getting ready to go for a pull. I don't know if I like the smoker pulling from there unless they come all the way out. Just because it, it's so easy for your tongue to break when you're pulling from that side because of how narrow that doorway is. That's certainly true. And it looks like still two survivors in the backs of the safe room though. But maybe they'll be moving up right here. No, still just sitting in that safe room. This is the longest bait I've seen in a while on this map. Competitive Left 4 Dead 2 at its finest. I don't know if Cheesy's trying to ghost or what. They got 20 more damage onto that charger. But, um, wow. Uh, waiting out for this natural horde, actually. That means we've been in this map for 100 seconds already. It would be really nice to see the boomers move out here. Again, in downtimes like this, if you'd like to send us any shoutouts, we'd be more than happy to read them, provided they are relatively clean. Well, um, I do have at least a couple shoutouts that I might read while we're waiting for this. Alright, go ahead, and I'll, I'll stop you if they do something. Oh, let's see. I have so many people talking to me. I've got a shoutout from Soul Survivor to Mason Prodigy and Jeffy. Great cast already. Thank you so much for that. Well, thanks, man. And I have a shout out from Aaron to smoking weed every day. Attacks uh, coming in, charger's getting ripped. Oh. oh no, not quite getting the charge. Jockey not landing either, getting dead stopped, and the smoker I don't believe got any damage there. So, just four damage going in from a spit, just spit damage I believe, maybe a jockey I think, scratch. I think the jockey actually scratched coach and then he walked through spit. I think that's what happened. Alright, only four points off of that hit. So long, I guess the bait worked out for them, but uh... It just took so long, I have to wonder how much it was worth it, but... They are coming into the next choke point right here, with the 2-2 setup, Charger Smoker. And the Smoker's pull is going back. in from the back. Oh, oh getting kicked, kicked off so quickly. Charger going in solo right here. Actually landing, getting cleared though. And a boom and spit going in as well. No damage though from this hit either. And looks like Coach taking a puncher. Disjointed attacks from H2K. Yeah, it really seems that way. Maybe, uh, you know, whenever a team baits for so long, one team can sort of get a little fatigued and get frustrated having to wait for that. And mm -hmm. It might be taking its toll. But then again, I feel like it also, like, it'll mess up your rhythm on Infected side, but it also kind of messes up your rhythm on Survivor side. Tank is up in the hands of Sideways Box. Uh, they do have a quad up right now, so we're going to, uh... The yeah. H2K War Room. Let's go ahead and do that. Pull Rochelle when they come right, in. Pull Rochelle. Not right now, like when the tank goes in. You want me to go in right now? Yeah, I will. Nice rest. Can you get her down? Let's no, go. No, we gotta go. No. What? What kind of fucking what? my tongue just broke? You got no support. 
Nice punches. I have more rocks and punches. You want to bring it back? And we're back. Uh, interesting tank. Sideways Fox came in with the quad from H2K. Uh, Charger got a punch and then whiffed. Nothing else really landed other than a smoke. But we did see a smoke with some punches and Sideways landing a few rocks. So, um, some okay damage, but probably not what H2K wanted. Uh, smokers up in the back chasing the survivors, not going for a despawn, evidently. That's very interesting right there. Now he needs okay, now to. Okay, now he's probably getting yelled at. They don't have a charge for this next hit though, and the next real but, choke point's the staircase. But as you've seen, I mean, I know uh, Killer put up that video last night, all it takes is a smoker and a jockey to wipe a team here. <laughs> That's certainly true. Uh, if any of you guys saw that, um, I'm, I'm sure you guys have all seen yourselves uh, a jockey or a smoker doing some real good work on this staircase, getting in cap after in cap ledge hang. So we'll the have main to see mechanic what Killer behind did. that being that if you're a jockey and you hang somebody off a ledge, yeah, you recharge uh, you in like three seconds. Yeah, you have an instant recharge, so you can just charge while you're climbing up the ladder or walking up the steps. Pause coming out from Hard to Kill, from Bravo. Uh, they sacked that hunter, so maybe they'll be able to get a charger for this hit, but you know, I'm going to predict they're going to get that boomer. We'll have to see, though. You know, without the spit in the elevator, though, this this health bonus is really dangerous. If they don't get like a ledge cap wipe, or or some sort of a a death charge of some sort, this is well, a huge health bonus. Be aware of the field. I know we were we we've had more than one scrim where in the field, if you can manage to get your spawns because of that limited line of sight, if you can get your spawns close to the uh, survivors in that field, multi charges are fairly common and. You can ease, you can get a pretty nasty tri cap going just because they have a really hard time seeing the SI. So I would say if they get through this choke in the elevator that they could make it in with a great health bonus, but leave an attack coming in. That's a good right point. Now. And wow, Sideways Box does get the charger. Oh, looks like a jock oh, landing on top. Completely separated survivors. Wow, choosing not to take the hovering. drop here with that jock. This is Very not nice. good. I really like the choice this jockey is making, and nice. Smoker set up for a pull as well. Oh, Charger getting chipped. I don't know what he's going to do about that. I, I just rushed the Charger at this point. The cap has been landed, though, and Rochelle's actually getting punched by a common up there. Charger kills off the common. Oh, steps away before getting chipped on the outside there. All three SI are up, though, and have char have charges so they can go for a tri cap. Charger's at position, time. though. Yeah, now's when you got to take You got You got to rush that Charger. You got to kill him. They're going in, getting a pull, not a ledge pull. Charger going in, getting oh, a wow. charge off the ledge. Jockey needs to get this one last cap. Not quite landing it, getting dead stopped repeatedly and killed. But at what cost? We have Jay just barely alive, standing up right here. Cheesy and Intel both in cap with very low health. It looks like they're going to get at least one of these pickups for Cheesy. They have to go all the way back well, down. There's no common on coach, but I don't. I don't think it's worth it. I think. I think they need to hit the button to get that distance. But uh, I don't know if I agree with this man. Yes, yeah, sir. Boomer, Boomer can get a boom on them through the spools behind them or from the roof. Oh, DP oh. for the kill. Very fun to see there. But that is intel for this map. He's completely dead. Survivors have to move back up. They have a bunch of pills, but you know, they're really susceptible to getting tri capped here, especially with these ledge hang. And again, uh, H2K is showing that they can capitalize on Boomer landing on Nick. But they can capitalize on hesitation and separation, which are two things you really don't want to have on Survivor side of this game, especially on a choke heavy map like Hard Rain. Certainly Where true. Boomer's hesitation did a lot for him there. Oh, and Charger going in, missing that charge. Spit going in, looks like maybe a punch or two. But wow, that hit actually went down very, very quickly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about attacking there. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure. That seems very rushed. Yeah, certainly they should have just waited him out, gone for the hit on the upper staircase again, like before. I guess they just wanted to go in with that boom. Uh, it certainly didn't work out for him, but they do have another hit up now. Looks like now this in, one's going to be a three cap. Yeah, keep in mind track ups here are very possible, especially with a boomer only having three survivors and the constant horde they're dealing with. Um. Ellis being smart and using dualies, keeping a shotgun. Oh wow, he gets boomed. Tricap's gonna come in now. Hunter going in. Oh, dead stop on the hunter. 
Jockey nice landing, job. two cap going in. Oh wow, but actually he's a common good lock. amount of common lock. This jockey's gonna get major separation. He should, hang him. he should hang him right now. I don't know why he has it yet. He's trying to get as much uh, real damage onto the survivor as he can before he gets that lead chang, I believe. And he timed it pretty well, but the jockey took a little bit of damage right there. Uh, jockey gonna come in, see if he. Oh, uh oh. Charger's gonna spawn up. This is gonna be. Oh, wow. Well. Charger not getting that spawn. Jay in capped right there. A little bit of chip went onto Icy Inferno, but they're still alive. They're going to be able to pass those pills to Jay once they pick him up. And it looks like there are no more health items in the shack out here. So the infected really have one last chance. They need to get somebody slow with this hit. If they get somebody slow, they can maybe get an extra attack. But um, this is going to be pretty close to it. Hit going in very early, not even waiting for the cornfields. That charger missing. SI not able to get in here. Smoker didn't even have a spawn. Oh, I feel like that hit was really, really rushed from hard to kill. But this boom is going to slow him down. This is not good. If that, if that charger, I don't know. Oh, man. If that charger just holds his horses, he's fine. Going in for this hit. Wow, Hunter not getting a DP there, although it looked like he was going for it. Just a little bit of pull damage right there. And now we see how fun it is to clear common with just Uzis and no melee weapons. <laughs> uh, we have a spitter up front. We have a jockey up front. Wow, are they really? If they make it, I'm gonna be impressed. I'm gonna be very impressed. Jockey spawning up, riding Going Ellis. Going for some health bonus chip. Health bonus is very low, but again, it's one of these situations where you could have pre prevented about a hundred points of distance yeah. if they'd been able to just finish that off with the tri cap. But a uh, very good job by Boomers. Oh, one last hit for charger punches here. A Ooh, lot spit of spit. Damage. Uh oh. Oh, not quite getting an end cap there. Oh, did get one onto. Cheesy right here. Icy actually getting hit by some spit. Accidentally walking Smoke's into it pull there. And that's it. Oh wow. No, not quite landing that pull, but he is still alive. Going for the instant wow. in the safe room. Oh. Rochelle should be able to clear that before he gets in cap. He's got three seconds. Oh my gosh. Getting the in cap last second right there. Getting rid of that health bonus. A nice final hit by hard to kill, but a very good job to Boomers too for making that that far. Hmm, I, I feel like we had a few a few key mistakes. Um Boomers did a very good job of dealing with the tank, of dealing with the quad, shutting everything down, um not tunneling, not taking too much damage. <clears throat> but as far as the top of the stairs, I think they were just a little too scared of that charger. Um Yes, there's a charger covering the one jockey person, but I'm pretty sure if two people go up you have a much I, don't, I just don't like like yeah. standing there and watching your teammate take damage unless there's like a tank standing in the way like yeah that was not good uh, you have to wonder if that's just they were maybe trying to pick it through the floor or they just yeah. were hesitant or they didn't know what to do uh, I mean, maybe but not it's a good because it's a match maybe maybe they there was a miscommunication maybe they think the smoker's up there on that side or maybe they don't know where the charger is um, but then I feel like after that they brought it together and they did a pretty good job of shutting out everything else to get an extra 100-150 distance points that I honestly don't really think they should have had. Oh, if you kill a survivor and you make a team go through two awful choke points with, um... Yeah, with only three players. With three people. that I, You should... You should be making those attacks, attacks count, not just assuming that because they have three players they're going to be easier to land. And what really comes to mind is at the bottom of the stairs... Well, is letting them get back up the stairs and rushing that attack to do it on the second platform, and then at the bottom of the elevator, uh, the charger leading and then just getting ripped and not really rushed back to land. Yeah, it seemed like they were really rushed. When really, nobody was slow. Um, they needed a bit more time and just get a good try cap. But uh, this round has started. Coach running out. Uh, we have a charger and a spitter on the roof. Very interesting spawns. I don't even know how they got up there. Charger not landing, though. Pull does land for a little bit, and the spit going on the truck there, actually. I think it actually oh. is getting some chip. Wow, actually got 13 damage from that spit. But a uh, very similarly well shut down attack on this round as well. And just a uh, quick shout out to 205 viewers. I think that tops uh, how many wow. we had had in past casts. So thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. We hope we're doing an all right job. Yeah, maybe not be a record, but this is certainly very high, and we want to thank you all for coming to these casts. Um, we always want to get more viewers, so get whoever you can to watch these, and be sure to tune into them yourselves. 
Thank you so much. The actually getting viewers does help us out and will help us out in the future. So thank you for, so much for that. How's that, Jeff? How, how oh, we had the most for any FPS match? Is that okay? Can I say that? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, and we do have the hit queen here. Pop, stunning the charger. Smoker pulling Rochelle in the back. Charge landing. Oh, Jockey, Jockey just barely slipping just, past Ellis yeah. there. And a uh, okay amount of chip getting that charger, and I believe he got a punch as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, shut down fairly quickly. No tri cap or anything. Tank should be up soon. Oh, I like how they're leaving this they're smoker leaving up. up. That's gonna be annoying. Health smoker. And we'll see if they decide to push in with a boom or with a quad. Uh, lots of teams have been doing the quad, but uh, yeah, they don't quite have the spots for it here. But um, let's go ahead and move into that boom of war room and hear how they're gonna do it. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, I was gonna jump to you. Like, Jesus Christ. Well, that's HR. <laughs> I know that's HR. Okay. Because you made me fucking have to jump down to kill you. Now I No. So. Mm. Go die right now, dude. Don't punch me! Oh, you're gonna have to go in because they're all oh, line setting. Mm. Well, just go. I don't have a spawn. Go. S I N in three, two, one. Fuck them this year. Ah! Yeah. Oh. I'm two, 12 feet away. Welcome back everyone, and that was the Boomus tank, um, actually overall looking fairly similar to Hard to Kills, I want to say. We got two punches from that tank, and a couple charger punches as well. Um, so nothing earth shattering, both teams tried to go for that quad cap, and neither one were able to get it in that area. Yeah, just in an area like that where there's so much stuff to either run around, or just run behind when there's a tank, it, it, you just have a hard time cornering somebody because of how much chip you take coming in and how far the survivors have to backpedal and strafe around you. Certainly true. It looks like the Boomers have a pretty good setup for this next choke. No jockey, but they have Hunter, Charger, Smoker, Boomer. And looks like the survivors will just be taking it sort of they've got all the time to look for items and ammo. Uh, dropping the hunting rifle actually right here. So these survivors, hard to kill, are going to be moving with Uzis. Oh, actually, he has picked it back up. No, I'm, I'm guessing he's got gun swap 30 shells or something in it. I don't think that... He I don't think the ammo makes it work. Yeah, I think you have to go for Uzis here. Alright, so... This SI setup, it looks like they're putting the hunter on front. Kind of act as the jockey here, get that opening cap. Um, maybe just get a survivor block and go for a charge. We'll have to see. Smoker in a very similar position, and Boomer set up on top front as well. Uh, did we just get a horde? Yeah, I believe we just got a natural horde. Hmm. Survivor's having to slow down and wait for that as well. Just the waiting game right here. The survivors starting to move up. A little bit of separation. Looks like Raccoon thinking about ghosting up these stairs. And SIR spawning. Spawn spawn right? Going in for the hit very early. Wow, Hunter getting skeeted. Charger missing on the Ooh, Rochelle. Wow. No, Smoker no, missing Smoker as needs well. To stay up there. Oh. And wow, that is the hit. Boom is choosing to go for an, a floor two attack right there instead of trying to go for those ledge pulls and whatnot. I don't know, they didn't have the spitter, they didn't have a damage dealing setup. I think they really should have waited for the third floor. Yeah, I think I think their timing is a little off, but... I don't know, in a match, everything is different. In a match, you start thinking about things you don't normally think about. In a scrim, or in a pug. 
So it, it kind of results in teams doing weird things. You're trying out new strats or things they aren't comfortable with because it's that they, they want to win. And so they're yeah. maybe trying to most optimize that. We have a hunter spawned up on the ladder. A hunter spitter, jockey charger, attack coming in. Looks like jockey dead stop, hunter dead stop, but both still alive. Charger missing, getting some stumbled. A couple of caps for some damage right here. Just health bonus chip though. Sideways box taking a lot of punches right there. But hard to kill still has a big...